Getting into shape in Thailand is really hard. Headlines lately for being really animated. He's just a political figure here in local Taichung running for office. Anyways, yeah, getting in shape in Taiwan is hard. Uh, I mean, not really, I just make excuses because I'm lazy, but you know, it's hot normally most of the year. It's like 40 degrees with the humid X, so I don't go running, but now it's nice and cool. I can actually do something outside. Look at that crazy restaurant. Uh -oh. Also, my shower has no hot water. It's time. One thing that definitely has improved since the original one R is the design of the one. Government has taken my scooter because I parked it on a red line, which I'm not allowed to do. So I'm gonna go give them a piece of my mind. And not really, I'm gonna go politely ask for that my scooter back. Thank God they took it on a weekend. It was a weekday, I have no idea. I'd, I'd, getting to work would be a giant pain in the ass, so. You no, know, I really should be nicer to that scooter. I guess I haven't really trusted it because of its rather dubious past. It, had, it didn't have the same character as my other bikes had, but now that it's been around the island with me a few times, I think I should treat it a little bit better. You know, now that it's gone, now that the government took it, I do start to realize how much I need that bike to get around, how much my life is affected by it. I've, I've, this has never happened before, so I have no idea what to do. Uh, what a teacher. Uh, you teacher? Uh, tell your teacher. Can you tell them? Yeah. 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 Can you tell them? Uh -huh. Taichung is looking pretty in this parking lot, or this impound lot, I should call it. And I said my scooter should be in this. Whoa, what happened to that guy? <laughs> he has a seat in his basket, which is funny because he still has a seat on his scooter, so he has someone else's seat there. Where? Oh, there she is. Hello, old girl. I really should do a better job of taking care of this thing. I just, I don't know. The only reason I parked on a red light is because I don't have a choice. <laughs> Around my apartment, there's, there's so little places to park that sometimes I don't have a choice. and. The parking downstairs is full up, so $600 fine for Crossy. Yeah, I don't really give this city a whole lot of credit for much, but I will say they do have some pretty sweet food festivals sometimes. How's the nachos? So good. Who? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great because like I eat way too much and it's just nice that the city actually has something to go and check out because Taichung, it's not the most exciting city in the world. Uh, so how much? How much money? Thank you. And then I just randomly decided to make <laughs> apple crumble because it's, I don't know, it's getting cold. It's nice to have a warm dish. So I don't know why I put this in this vlog, but whatever. It's basically just apples put in some water with some sugar and like a way too much cinnamon. Mix it together and you, I don't know, stick it on a pot. I don't really know what I'm doing, obviously. I like to cook a lot, but cooks don't really make good bakers. And if you ever wanted to know if your knife is too dull, then yeah, this is basically how. <laughs> but yeah, basically cooks never really measure anything. We just kind of put ingredients in, you know, and then try and mask it if it's too much. We basically eyeball everything. Whereas if you bake, you kind of have to have exact ingredients. Like this is just some flour with some butter, with some granola, with some cinnamon, and then you mix it together with your hands. And you stick it in this really tiny dish. Never mind, that's stupid. Take it out. <laughs> put the apples in first, and then we're gonna put the topping on top. I thought I'd maybe I'd want a crust on the bottom, but I don't. And then, yeah, slap those kids in the oven, and then, I don't know, they should be ready. Mine turned out like, okay. And uh, they're ready, just kidding. No, they're not. Now they're ready. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think lately I haven't been cooking a lot, so, so I've been trying to like get back into it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I got these dishes in Elon and I figured I'd have to use them for something. They're kind of like perfect for children, but I don't actually have children, which makes this really creepy. But yeah, turned out all right, especially when you stick some fresh berries on top. Mm. Also, I got to watch New Year's with my friends in this MTS bar. Hi. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! 
kiss you, big beauty. Mwah. Mwah. Give me a kiss, you fucking lover. Oh, that bullshit is so bad. Happy New Year, you bunch of I found the one tree in all of Taiwan that changes color in the seasons. How do Taiwanese people stay so thin when this is breakfast? Okay, this is really exciting. I am currently on the way to the immigration office today because uh, I am getting my APRC. It means that every single year as a foreigner you have to apply for a residency permit every year and you have to work for a school in order to get that. However, here in Taiwan, after five years, you get a permanent residency, an APRC, and that's what I'm getting now, today, or at least I'm in the interview for it. So if it all goes well, I'll have my permanent residency and I can just live in Taiwan and not have to worry about being tied to a school. So I can just live here. I live in Taiwan. I mean, I know I lived in Taiwan beforehand, you know, while I had my ARC, but there's always that kind of temporary feeling to it because you're tied to a school and you never know how that job might go. Um, but now I just can come and go as I please and not have to apply for anything. Um, it doesn't mean I'm Taiwanese. It doesn't mean I get a passport. It doesn't mean I have the right to vote. It just means that this is now my home. Um, it's basically like Canada, my, my actual home country. And that's really exciting. Um, that means that I can finally, after all these years, focus on doing YouTube full time. Uh, it's not something I've ever been able to do before uh, because, well, I needed a job in order to live here, of course. Um, but now I don't need one and um, hopefully now that I've surpassed 100,000 subscribers I think I have like 110,000 subscribers now I can try and make this a financial thing and, and actually make this my job it does mean that I have to give up teaching which I'm fine with uh, although I still love teaching um, especially the job I have now is really great I'm really really happy with it um, however I've been teaching for 10 years and I'd like to try something a little bit different. Now, will it work out? I have no idea if the whole YouTube full-time thing will work out. I really hope it does. I'm going to try my best to make it work. But it's not a huge deal if it doesn't because, like I said, I, you know, I can just go back to teaching, which is something I also like to do. And I'm very proud. I don't know if proud is the right word, but I can appreciate the fact that I haven't burnt out. I still enjoy doing it. Uh, the burnout rate for what I do is like five years, uh, which is not very long, and I've been at this double that. Uh, the job I have now is really great. I'm very proud of the students that I have. I'm very happy with the co-workers I have. I've made friends there. Um, some of them have even become a part of this channel. Uh, the person who's writing the subtitles that you're looking at right now is actually my boss, uh, Glory, who I hope is going to be more uh, on the channel because you guys seem to really like <laughs> her. Yes, I'm just trying to say thanks to all of you guys who have been watching for a long time or even the people who have started watching recently or even if this is your first time watching I, I can't I couldn't do this without you and I know a lot of youtubers say that you hear it a lot but um, I, I truly mean it and I can definitely feel it more than ever now that I'm on my way for this interview so um, you know unless this interview goes horribly and they don't give it to me then you know I take it all back <laughs> no, I, I'm joking um, but I'm, I'm I'm just I'm in a great mood I'm, I'm very excited and uh, anyways yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog I know it was kind of all over the place a bit sporadic I just wanted to film random tidbits of my day uh, as a foreigner here in Taiwan and hope you enjoyed it uh, thank you so much for watching all these videos and stay positive keep a stick on the ice I'll catch you guys on the next episode 